this is a follow-up video on the video that I did a while back uh, to avoid using captain tape and using glass uh, back in the day and now since a lot of people you know trying to find even a better alternative you know the the previous video basically uh, explained that you use like hairspray on the glass in order to print but that wasn't really uh, that successful or mission critical so the only workaround that I found that works a hundred percent every time is the slurry you know the ABS slurry so sometimes you know you end up with some kind of like missed uh, for one reason or another you would stop the the print and you end up with these like leftovers that you know are useless so what I do is I usually just crack them and you know make them like very narrow and I would just put it into the uh, acetone so this is acetone that you can buy you know in any drugstore or anything and what you do is you just put all of the leftovers I usually just keep a jar of leftovers back here and you know when I run out of slurry which is very rare that I run out of slurry uh, I just put these things on and in there and mix them down and then they'll become a slurry so to demonstrate how it looks after the print okay so the the steps are here make sure you get a, a glass like this it, it usually comes with a frame that you can buy at 99 cents store and the frame is 8 by 10 don't get any bigger because if you use these clips that you can buy at Staples or any office supply store then you will not be able to kind of latch it on to the hot build plate. I in particular have the Replicator 2X but this will work for uh, Replicator 2 or any other uh, printer that prints ABS. Now this is only for ABS for SL, uh, SLA I believe uh, it would be probably not uh, working. Now, so this is the build plate and what I do is I recycle. Do you see that circle? That circle was the print of this particular headphone holder. Okay. And after the print was complete, and it's very important that you do not detach it while the glass is on the plate the reason being is because you're gonna screw up the alignment and the color calibration so what I do is I usually give it I don't know five minutes or something like that uh, to cool off and then I detach the the glass with the model and trust me it's gonna it's gonna stay there you know until it's cooling off no problem and then you will see cracking going on after it's cooling off and cracking is where the model on the bottom is kind of detaching from the rest of the slurry and sometimes you gotta give it a little push and what I do is I uh, I use this blade right here and then like in this particular situation I would just run it around but gently don't press hard because you can make an incision in the glass and then it'll crack trust me I've had glass crack uh, you know going this way or that way and you don't want glass cracking either during the print or I don't know you, you just have to buy a new one then alright so it's only a, a dollar so slurry you just buy acetone mix it with the leftovers and okay so here's the steps from the beginning alright you got a new glass what do you do you got the slurry it doesn't have to be too thin or too thick you know I just apply it and boom that's it and I use q-tip so I squeeze out slurry and I just spread it like butter you know along the build plate area and then 
after it dries okay you attach it to the build plate or you can attach it while it's still drying and then after it dries completely you have to do the calibration for that particular thickness of the surface meaning uh, if you calibrated the build plate with the glass without slurry it would be a little bit you know too high or too close actually you know the eventually the uh, the extruder will be too close to the slurry and the prints would be like not successful so that's a very important step to calibrate after you put the slurry all right after you put the slurry you print it and then after the print give it some time to dry take off the the glass with the model and detach it you know from the glass not while the the build plate uh, the glass is on the build plate okay that's very important you will decalibrate this way if you just try to like yank it out okay and that's basically it this is a sample of uh, an unsuccessful uh, print and this is how it just detaches like this you see and then this surface well this is like a raft so you see the raft becomes smooth and you know but if you printing without the raft the bottom would be shiny very smooth like this and then you don't have to scratch this off unless it's really kind of bubbling up and whatever sometimes it happens that when you take out the model a little bit of like area around the edges would be kind of detached so that's not a big problem because you can always refill those areas that are empty right now with the slurry thank you for watching please subscribe comment and uh, enjoy